Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Jess Herb, Herb Johnson, AKA Fair Warning. Welcome. If you have not checked out part one, make sure you go and check it out. If you have seen part one, welcome to part two. Let's get it. We're gonna be talking about transitions. This is gonna come from the three different ideas from part one. So like I said, if you haven't, I'm saying go ahead, press pause. Go ahead, go to part one, all right, and get them ideas in your mind. We're gonna be working with those ideas and understanding and learning how to utilize transitioning so that within our freestyle going into something that we have already developed, how to go in and out of our improvisation to that developed moment back into our improvisation. And just in general within our freestyling, how are we maneuvering and how are we making sure that what is coming out isn't choppy. The three things that we're gonna think about is awareness, transfer, and trigger. How are we utilizing those things to transition? Awareness, um, think about like, for example, shifting your weight from one place to the other. Uh, keeping in mind that you will be doing this in whatever style you practice. For myself, I will be doing crump as that is my style of choice at the moment that I would like to express through and demonstrate through, okay? So thinking about shifting my weight and just being aware of where I am and how I am, okay? Um, and this is also placing uh, as far as like where my body is, like I wanna be aware of that. And beyond being aware of where I am, I also wanna know where I can go, where my body is capable of going, okay? So for example, if I'm here, all right, um, I want to practice how many different pathways can I make from this position right here, okay? Boom, this is one. I can pivot, turn to look up, okay? That's one. Boom, this is two. I can turn and come down to the ground, okay? So now I have two different ideas to think about when I'm here, one, Okay, two, and let's say I make a third, three. Okay, and now I have, oh, then kick my left. Now I have three different ideas that stem from this one area, okay? So anytime I come here, now this is where trigger comes in mind. Anytime I come here, I could be thinking about any of those three options. Any of those three options can come out, right? When it comes to awareness, that also means that you have to do a lot of exploring and you have to really understand and know your body. Here are two exercises that you can do to get to know your body more, understand your body more, and you can also um, take these exercises and recreate them for your own, um, your own comfort, your own a uh, way of understanding your own body, for lack of a better term, okay? So, circles, boom, making circles with my wrists, with my fingers, okay? With my elbows, with my shoulders, with my chest, hips, knees, ankles, okay? Head, if I didn't say so, etc. right? Now when I do these circles, I'm going to break them down piece by piece and I'm gonna isolate. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm utilizing just that motion, okay, for that body part, okay? And I'm doing this because I wanna understand how to control, okay, those parts of my body. And then what I wanna add to it is if I'm doing it fast, boom, 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 or if I'm doing it slow, okay? if I'm doing it small or if I'm doing it bigger, okay? And big, small, okay? Big, small, okay? Fast, slow, okay? So I'm gonna take those two different ideas and put that onto that exercise, okay? The second exercise is more of a mental one. What I want you to do is lay down, and you can do this before you even do these, okay? Um, or you can do it after, whichever you prefer, um, doesn't really matter. The point is, is to just take time to get to know your body. So lay down, and what I want you to think about is a ring circling 
around your body, okay? You can lay down and think about it circling around the ankle first, okay? And I want you to close your eyes with this as well and just imagine that ring circling around your ankle and then imagine it moving up your leg to your knee, right? While it's circling around still, okay? And then think about it transferring down your other leg and coming back up to the hips and then up your torso to the chest, through one shoulder, back up, out through the other arm, back up, and then through the neck, chin, up the face, and out of the crown of your head, right? Um, I want you to think about that and really focus on feeling like that is actually happening, okay? That's the most important part, is not just imagining it, but really feeling that energy moving from one place to the other, okay? That's a really important part, all right? Transfer is uh, about transferring one idea to the other. So we'll do circles for an example from part one, okay? If I take this circle and I go here, okay? I don't have to have my transfer look uh, like this. I have two ways that I can transfer. I can go here, circle, here, okay? That's a really easy transfer because it's coming from one place and you see it travel through the, through to the other side, right? I can go here, 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 okay? Um, and I can just make my transfer be more sporadic to where those circles just pop up in different places, okay? And it's not in any specific orders. And then trigger. Trigger is more so being somewhere and then knowing like, oh, I've been here before and I know the options that I have. Triggers is about creating neural pathways in your body so that once you reach a certain point, your body will automatically make a decision. You're on, you know, not, not autopilot in a bad way, but autopilot in a good way to where you, uh, and, and this is where awareness sort of meets transfer, meets experience, okay? And now that I'm talking about experience, I want you to also make sure that you are relying heavily on your foundation, whether you are uh, practicing a specific style or you're just doing movement through your body and how you want to uh, produce movement, whatever it is, just make sure that you are relying on some type of foundation because that is going to be the consistency with uh, just being able to transition very well, is how well do you uh, know and understand your foundations or the foundation of a style, okay? Triggers, all right? Let's say um, if my idea of circles, for example, we'll go back to uh, part one's circle combo, right? And let's say circles will be my trigger or something spiraling will be the mental trigger to make me remember, okay, that combo that I have, all right? Now this is transitioning into, out of my freestyle, into something that I developed. If I replicate a circle, if I do anything, okay, anything that makes me think about this, all right, that's gonna be my bread and butter to get into that combo. Now, what I don't wanna do is have something trigger and then be like, oh, I remember, boom, and go right to it, no. All throughout transitioning, you have to have patience. Patience is key because you have to remember you are still moving to a specific track. And that specific track um, has specific ways of moving, you know, sound wise in general, right? There's certain layers within the track, there's a certain timing within the track, and you want your you want your idea to hit, you know when you attach it to the music. You want it to boom. You don't want it to come out off beat or just on a, on a dead part of the music. You want it to be at the right place at the right time. And exploring with different tracks and uh, consistently doing this move on whatever timing you decide is the best way to go about it, okay? So as I begin, I'm going to keep the idea of circles in mind and I'm going to continue to use that idea, which is essentially turning it into a concept. And I'm going to keep that going 
until I feel ready to bring that combo out. This is all reliant on the timing and how my movements are attaching to the music. And then once I'm ready, I bring it out. And here it is. I make sure that I stick to the timing of the music because that is very important. So for uh, the illusion combo, my trigger is gonna be any time one of my arms is down by my side near my pocket, okay? That's gonna be my trigger to know, boom, I can transition from my freestyle to something that I developed, okay? In doing this, I'm not going to, again, rush it, okay? Even if I'm here, I'm not gonna go right into the move because I have to listen to the music. Let's say I'm here with the music, right? So I'm just out the gate gonna start the combo just to showcase that you really wanna pay attention to timing and where you're putting it because then you get somewhere that you don't wanna be. And you see from there, it's not gonna work because I prematurely brought up the developed idea and then boom, I find out, oh no, it's on a down section and I've already started this, this, this developed piece and so it kind it, it ruins the timing of that developed piece. Now, a very great improvisational dancer or freestyler will take this and then continue to create out of that until they get out of that situation and then maybe when that beat drops back, they do something, um, they do something big or uh, they do something that is a statement that takes them to another level, right? And that fixes what's going on. And that takes a certain level of awareness, which comes from a certain level of experience. Like I said, one video isn't gonna fix this. It's, it's about the consistency of how you continue moving forward within your journey. Now I'm gonna do the example again. I'm gonna rewind the music and we're gonna see what happens when we're just patient about it and we understand that, oh, I have this idea, but I'm gonna wait because I need the right moment. So I'm starting out with exploring movement, connecting to the music, and I know that I'm going to do this combo that I already have, but I really want to play around with the music and figure it out. This is more of a trial and error thing. You just have to test when and where multiple times to different types of music over and over. It's about repetition and drilling, um, not just the movement, but your mind. And here's the combo here. And I think that this was an interesting choice for myself and I'm glad how it turned out. And yeah, that's it. All right, and there we go. Um, that time I personally wanted to take the risk and not wait for the beat drop and do the combo within that down moment. But normally, um, just through studying music and understanding, normally when there's a downbeat, it lasts for about four counts of eight. So I allowed two counts, two measures of that music to um, be done, and I just danced within that. And then I started the combo on the last half of it knowing that eventually is gonna build up to something and now I'm at that break and what can I do? So I just took that risk to see what would happen. Like I said, there's that trial and that error uh, and you have to figure out like, was that a success or was it not a success? Uh, what were the challenges within that? If there were any, okay? All right, and that concludes part two. Remember, you want to think about awareness, transfer, and trigger, all right? Take your body, put it in a position, and figure out three different ways, okay? Three different places, all right? You can go out of that one position. Do that for multiple positions, and then try and <clears throat> take those pictures and see which idea you end up going with. 
Transitioning is about experience. It is about uh, consistency and it is about exploration. You wanna make sure that you're exploring through your body and it's about awareness, understanding and knowing what your body is capable of. Just make sure that you practice this with patience. Uh, you take your time. Again, one video isn't going to fix transitions. It's about the longevity and taking these ideas and applying them. I hope part two really helped and it had some practical things for you to work on. I know it's not like part one where we had a lot more dancing and it's a lot more talking in part two, but I hope the demonstrations gave you a better idea of what you need to do to take your transitions to the next level. Thank y'all for coming through. Make sure you hit that like button for part one and part two. Happy holidays, otherwise if this video was like, you know, posted after the holidays, then still, happy holidays, fool. All right, y'all, peace.